<laughs> now, this is Barry. Barry is a middle-aged man, which means that pretty soon he's going to be thinking about buying a sports car. He thinks it'll make him more virile and more attractive. The trouble is, because Barry is middle-aged, all his hair has fallen out. <laughs> So that means he's going to need a hairpiece of some kind. And that's a dangerous combination. Hairpiece, sports car, we're in a minefield of potential embarrassment here. <laughs> so we thought we'd come up with an idea. The Top Gear toupee test. Uh, the first one we're going to test is this one. It's a full wig, uh, known as the Blonde. Okay? <laughs> Shall we see how it goes? Yeah. Run the film. OK, I want to make it plain the wig was held in place with double-sided wig tape, not just plonked on his head. And here we go. Coming up now toward the national speed limit, some of the shape has been lost, some of the style. <laughs> Just 110 miles an hour, it was all over. So, what happens if we up the ante and try something a little bit more expensive? That was only £60. This is a little more pricey. <laughs> no, really, it is. Let's see. This is Indonesian craftsmanship. It'll set you back £90. So, let's see how much speed you get for your money. It really is an absolute beauty. It's made from 50% real human hair, comes as standard with a one-inch reinforced taping perimeter. So it really is the absolute... Oh, it's gone! Oh, no! At just 85 miles an hour! Oh, it's... <laughs> certainly. That's certainly the first time the Stig has ever had another man's hair in his lap. <laughs> OK, now then, uh, let's just remove that and see what happens if we go for the Rolls-Royce of syrups, OK? There it is. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now let's see how fast you can go. Handmade in Korea, it'll cost you £250, but it is made from 100% natural fibres which are longer, so you can cut it to your own spec. Side parting is quite a head turn, though. Really? Oh no! <laughs> 68 miles an hour and it's all over. His self worth is ruined. <laughs> the moral of the story then seems to be that if you want to go really fast in a convertible, get yourself something very cheap, very made of nylon. Absolutely. Now, you may have noticed that all of the wigs there were blown off forwards. It's something to do with aerodynamics. It's actually because the wind comes over here and then it mm. goes that way. Mm. Bit of a problem. However, the good news for wig wearers is you can get round this by having a car with this, a wind deflector, that's been fitted to some of the more expensive cabriolets. OK, let's see if it works. We uh, refitted Barry in the most expensive but worst performing uh, wig, which in the TVR blew off at just 68 miles an hour. As you can see, we're going past that now, and it's still looking good. We're into Autobahn territory, getting on now, I think, for about... Oh, look at that, look at that. Coming up to 140 miles an hour, and still Barry is able to maintain his dignity. That wind deflector really works. Astonishing. You know, I think that 